Governor Walker tells us he's keeping up with developments in the Hamilton case. Charles Benson is live in Madison with more. Charles? Yeah, we just concluded that interview with the governor here at the executive residence, and we did talk about the Dontre Hamilton case. You know, this year the governor signed a new law that would require all officer-involved shootings to be reviewed by an independent agency so that it would give, the intent was to give families like Dontre Hamilton and officers like Christopher Manny the assurance that the process would be fair. But however, the governor has been watching what's been going on in Milwaukee as well as the protests around the country after these officer involved shootings. However, he points out the recent killings of young children in the Milwaukee area shows that there is a need for the police and the community to support each other and work together. There's a need and there's a, a belief that somebody needs to do something more within law enforcement to help protect particularly these young people. At, at the same time, there's some mistrust about some of these other cases. So there's got to be a way to push better communications, to build better trust, because as we see with these recent cases, there is a real need in the community uh, to have the support of law enforcement to protect neighborhoods. Now, one week from today, the governor will be sworn in for a second term. We'll have much more on how he's preparing for that coming up on Live at 10. For now, we're live in Maple Bluff. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. All right, Charles, thanks. Tension.